Hi, welcome back. How are you doing? You came to the right video if you're looking for a nice big stretch. And if you're one of the two group of people who either like static or dynamic stretches, you came to the right place. We're going to start with the down dog position. Don't watch the video too much. Just follow the voice and glimpse every now and then when we do have a change in position. So first move down dog just to open the chest and getting out of your head. So don't watch the video. Just let the head hang, get into this nice big hamstring stretch and also this chest opening. You can do little movements if you want or just stay static in your down dog position. Great. And then step forward with your feet to the hands. Feet are hip width apart, toes slightly turned outwards. And we're starting with a dynamic hamstring stretch. So you want to exhale, folding forward. This is your hamstring stretch. And then inhale, bending just as much as you like into a squat position. Make sure that, that your knees are always pointing towards your toes. Now, very important for your head, don't watch the video, just let the head hang when you're coming forward into your forward fold, really relaxing the neck. Just ignore your head for a second and your eyes. Close your eyes if you want to. So exhaling, folding forward into this hamstring stretch and then inhaling, squatting, exhaling, folding forward, hamstring stretch, inhaling, and this is going to warm up our glutes a bit. And here we go, staying in that hamstring stretch, just folding forward, pressing the feet into the floor, pressing your heels, your big toes, the balls of your feet into the ground. And just imagine you do want to be like a waterfall, falling forward from your hips all the way to your arms, letting everything hang forward like a waterfall. Very nice, keep breathing. And then step backwards with your left foot first, then open your right arm to the sky and then come back into standing. So you step back one foot first, then open the opposite arm to the ceiling, do a nice big rotation in your spine and then step forward and change legs. So you always want to open the opposite arm of the leg that step backward up to the sky. Play with your range of motion here with how far you're stepping backwards and how far you're rotating. Always respect where you are in your day and in your body right now. And again, don't look too much to the video. The movement is, I hope, fairly simple. So you can follow your arms with your eyes, gaze upwards and gaze downwards. And now we stay in that static stretch, starting with the right leg, stepping backwards into a deep lunge. And you can have your hands down on the floor, or if that is too low for you, you can fold your hands onto your thigh and staying a little bit more upright with your upper body. This should feel, you should feel this in your hips and your choice how low you want to lower your hips in this position. Then stay with that right leg behind and open your left arm to the ceiling or sky. And again, don't look too much to the video. You can just follow your arm with your gaze, with your eyes. And now look into the sky, if that is fine for you. Some people get dizzy in that position looking up. Then just look down to your foot or to your hand if you need that for balance or not to feel too dizzy. The goal is to rotate in the spine and open up the chest. Here we go, nice closing forward. Again, our waterfall position, stepping forward, feet hip width apart, knees can be slightly bent, and then just fold forwards from your hip, imagining your waterfall dropping forward. The water flows over your hips, over your back, over your spine, over your neck, and everything just falls forward. Close your eyes, shake your head if you want to. Then we change sides. So now we're stepping backwards with the left leg. So big, deep lunge, static position, nothing much happening here. <laughs> so just step backward with your left leg. You can bring your hands to either side of your right foot. Keep your neck and spine very long, as long as you can. If that is too low for you with the hands, again, you can fold them 
on your thigh. Very good. And then we're opening up into that spinal twist. The left arm stays on the floor. This is your counter pose and the right arm is opening up to the sky. And in that rotation, follow your right arm, your right hand with your gaze, look up to the sky. Without forcing too much, the neck just follows the natural rotation of your spine as much as that wants to rotate. And again, if that makes you dizzy, then you can just look down to the floor. Here we go. Nice little stretch. This is more of a freestyle thing. You don't need to do what I'm doing. You can either step back into down dog, then come into plank or go into up dog if that's a thing to you, if you want to do that. Or you can simply stay in down dog position, opening the chest a little bit, getting these arms warmed up slightly. Or you can just stay in a plank or you can put uh, your hips back onto your heels, staying in a child position, just relaxing for a second. So do whatever you like. This is a bit of a freestyle or just come back into forward fold. Do whatever feels good to you. Very good. And here we are with a little bit of a dynamic stretch for the hamstrings and chest opener. So just keep standing feet hip width apart and then dig one heel down into the ground, one foot in front of you, and then follow that leg with your hands, hands rise up to the sky, and then fold down again. So we want to keep our, our back as straight as possible, folding from the hip forward into that forward fold standing, and just try to touch this little stringy feeling when you feel that your hamstrings are stretching. You can increase the stretch by pulling the toes towards your shin bone. This will increase the stretch in your calf muscles. So the more you pull your toes towards you, the more you're stretching the calf muscles, the more you relax your foot, the more you can stretch on the hamstrings on the back of your thigh. Now I like doing these big arm movements just to relax the chest and the shoulders, of course, they need it. Here we go. This is another hamstring stretch. So don't make this too much of a workout. Um, just pivot forward from your right hip. Right leg is standing on the floor. Right foot stands on the floor. And then pivot forward as much as you can to reach that little stretching moment in the back of your of your thigh make this a very slow movement again you don't need to look you can have your arms wherever you like some like to fold their arms on their thigh in this position for a little bit more stability you can bend the standing leg if you need to and just come to that little stringy sensation of pulling on your hamstrings when you fold forward great this is really one of my favorite moves because it's active, yet you do have this nice little stretch, but you're also having a little bit of a mobilization of a tonification of a contraction of the whole back line. And this is, I believe, something we all need having a very good, nice toned back line so we can resist gravity all throughout the day, pulling us up towards the sky rather than pulling it down into the earth. Um, so here we go. You have your left leg on the ground. Um, don't look the video too much. I don't want you to um, get neck <laughs> contractions too much. So just have your neck in a nice elongation of your spine and then pivoting forward into that little hamstring stretch in warrior pose. Very nice. Now you can just keep standing hip width apart and then just try to grab one heel at a time. Try to grab the heel or the ankle and not too much the toes as that will pull on your foot and that might even hurt a bit. So I'm not actually doing it quite correctly. So try to like bring um, the foot in as much as you can and then grab your ankle or shin bone 
or sometimes just grab the heel or if you're having shoes on you can grab the shoe or the laces so you're not pulling too much on your foot the other arm can do quite what you like there's different options here everybody has their favorites i like to bring the arm up overhead or you can bring the arm to the side or just have your hand in your hips well done and here we go static again no more movement we're starting with the right side again grab your ankle shin bone or the heel or the foot laces whatever you can grab not the toes and just stay here in that nice little quad front of the thigh stretch keeping your thighs parallel knees together if possible and then push your hips forward slightly contracting your glutes pushing the hips forward a little bit keep your balance very good and then change side this time grab your left foot again i'm not doing it quite correctly on this picture so you want to grab your ankle your shin bone or your heel not too much the toes then bring the knees together thighs are parallel and then push your hips forward contracting your glutes a little bit this goes a little further up then the stretch into your psoas your hip flexor and this is then the whole line all the way from the front of your lumbar spine hey here we go arms behind your back more or less uh, on top of your sacrum then interlace the fingers keep the elbows bent slightly so that your shoulders don't get too much strain and then lift both arms slightly up only until you can keep your posture so if you start folding forward hunching or the shoulders are starting to slide forward on your rib cage then you're too high then lower a little bit and again try keep your sternum lifted keep the shoulders low and down far away from your ears and only lift as high as you can to keep your upright posture very good you can keep your knees bent in this position remember to breathe this is a shoulder stretch but also a chest opener very important in case you're working a lot in front of you like working manually or on the computer very good and here we go 20 seconds of static stretch you don't need to do anything just lifting these hands up as much as you can without folding forward slipping the shoulder girdle forward on your rib cage hunching forward so resist gravity pulling your sternum up stay proud stand tall and lift those arms just as much as possible here we go very nice keep breathing great and we are finishing off this is already the end but you can do it again if you want to we're doing a nice side stretch this is the whole side line from your heel to the pinky finger so we're standing hip width apart then crossing one leg back same arm goes overhead and bend sideways i call that the c position you're trying to make a little c shape with your arm and your foot the arm does the c better than the leg obviously <laughs> And then just alternate you want to exhale when you see shape into your nice side bend and then inhale coming back up if you want to go slower and stay in that side bend a little bit just make sure that every exhale you do go a little bit deeper without folding forward what happens a lot is that you're crunching forward and your shoulders leave that line of your hips imagine you're standing in between two glass walls and you can't move back or forward you have to stay in that same plane otherwise you're shattering the glass <coughs> wonderful amazing thank you very much keep stretching if you want to or else have a very great day if you want more of course subscribe and tap the bell leave some comments below and we can see you soon bye